Bueno, mi hermano, pero tú te mereces, 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 And currently in the Upper West we do our first road show event actually took place last two weeks and uh, Jewish across the globe we have in the house two gentlemen from Dutch community in Ghana and we are here to talk about Dutch Road Show Ghana West Africa. Many of you have heard of digital currencies, there is cryptocurrencies and then Dutch is one of them. So I don't want to talk much on this. The two gentlemen here will say a lot to that. And I have here my own brother Cryptonic from the Dutch community. Uh, I have the one next to him who is Dagogu, also from the Dutch community. And they're here to talk about Dutch Root Shoe, Ghana, West Africa. They had their meetup or the conference of the Dutch Root Shoe, which held in Sembi in the one municipal, which took up about 300 participants from the region. And then this TV show is part of their event that they want to exploit the Ghana community to get people more into the Dutch community. Those viewing us from abroad, from afar, local, wherever you are, Dutch is basically a digital currency that has come to stay. And then it's also like Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first digital currency to come to stay in the world, which was formed in 2010 by a known man or a group of men we call Satoshi Nakamoto. And then Dutch is one of them that came to stay in 2015. Okay, Cryptolip, you are welcome to my studio of NTV. Thank you very much. Welcome to NTV. It's, Thank you. it's been a long time after the event in WA. I can see you guys are looking great. Yeah. <laughs> we are, we are, we are, we are, yeah, okay. in that show. That's we okay. I'm still, I'm still with my dad shit, as you can see. That's cool. Okay. Uh, Cryptolip, what is Dash cryptocurrency? Yes. Uh, Before they are not chip in, I want you to talk about cryptocurrency in as a whole to the, our viewers. Many yes. have started testing me that uh, today's show is going to be a new thing to them. So it's going to clear their minds about cryptocurrency, then sentence more on Dash. Yes. Uh, good evening to our Cherry's viewers. Uh, cryptocurrencies are digital forms of money, just like the, uh, our host mentioned. They are generally accepted currencies that uh, are worldwide used. And the name cryptocurrency came into existence from 2009 onwards. So I always tell my audience that cryptocurrency is a generational word. And this word may not be found in a dictionary, but it's simply a combination of two words. One is encryption and the other is currency. Encryption is simply turning a plain text into cipher text, meaning you are trying to make something more secure and uneasily to be penetrated. So, currency, just like we have the, 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 the Ghanaian currency, which is commonly known as the CD, is what forms part of the encryption, and we call it cryptocurrency, meaning safest currency, safest money. So, whenever you hear of cryptocurrency, you ought to be thinking that yes, they are talking about secured money. So cryptocurrencies in general is what we call secured money. The first cryptocurrency that is Bitcoin was actually created in 2009 by one Satoshi Nakamoto. And many have argued he's a Japanese to, to, to us. Uh, it is um, uh, something we cannot justify. But then um, we know he created, he built the first cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin, and we refer to Bitcoin as the mother of all other cryptocurrencies. After Bitcoin in 2010, because the first Bitcoin was actually mined in 2010, a lot of cryptocurrencies has been created. This We don't call these other cryptocurrencies cryptocurrencies. We refer to them as altcoins. In actual sense, cryptocurrency is the entire ecosystem. Okay, It's just like we have a community 
say the the the, the, the municipality and then we have this sub districts within the one municipality so cryptocurrency is actually the entire ecosystem and we have the coins within the cryptocurrency like we have money as the entire ecosystem but we have the cd we have the us dollar we have the naira we have you know the cf franc etc so basically that's what cryptocurrency is okay we've heard about cryptocurrency as a digital currency that has come to stay in our new world then you've mentioned a lot about cryptocurrency the bitcoin the dash you know the litecoin extreme ripple smart cash and a whole lot of cryptocurrency this event is centered on dash digital currency as one of the finest or the instant the fastest and the secure cryptocurrency that has come to stay in our new era crypto lip I'm still coming back to you. Why this good shoe? Why are you advocating for Dutch digital currency? Why do you think that is important in Africa or Ghana as a whole? Yes. Um, this road shoe came as a result of my interest in, uh, you know, fighting poverty in Africa and Ghana in particular. I, I call myself a poverty victim in the sense that I am from a place or a background that is well noted for poverty. And so when I discovered cryptocurrencies in the year 2015, that was Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin was trading around uh, 400, 500 US dollars as at then. I, 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 it was just unimaginable and I had to go online to, you know, make findings, search Google and then try to find out more what Bitcoin was, you know. And from then I, I took interest in Bitcoin. But somewhere along the line, I, I discovered that, yes, there was another coin called Dash. And this coin was very cheap as at then. That was 2015. I mean, one Dash was, ar was around $10 or even less as at then. I cannot get the figures right. But. So I said to myself, if Bitcoin you know, was trading just like Dash is trading today, and Bitcoin is now $600, US dollars, which I cannot afford, it means that if I had invested, you know, eleven dollars in bitcoin some years back i would have been rich today that was as of 2015. so I, I said to myself well this could be a better option to get out of poverty because we need to invest we need to put something towards our future but as to where to put it and you know it is quite obvious that so many people get involved in you know micro finances they save their money in financial institutions just trying to make sure they, they, they provide investment that will get them out of poverty one day. Unfortunately, these microfinances or financial institutions turn out to scam them. They run away with their money and the recent scam is decay. Yes, yes, they can. <laughs> so, you they know, can. a lot of people even lost their lives yes, through yes, this care. Yes, yes, but yes, then, yes. when I got to know about Dash, I made my own research and I realized that, no, this was a secured, you know, currency and I become my own bank. I don't need to go invest in DKM or any other microfinance. I invest in myself. I invest and just keep my money on my phone and I keep monitoring. So, early 2016, I mounted an event, uh, 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 a libertarian convention, and by then, one Mr. African, who is known as crypto traveler within the crypto community, was advocating Dash. He was actually my first point of contact, so he got Dash to support me. Because by then I've tried to get sponsorship to you know carry out my program, but it, it was just hard. I even contacted guys who were into Bitcoin to support so that I could market them. But after uh, Kofi was able to get Dash to support my event, I decided that wow, why not? Let me look into this. It means that Dash have that support, you know, to people who were willing to send it far. So I got involved. I studied the currency and then I, I was able to get my own dash wallet as a then I mean it was the just blockchain wallet yes so yes, uh, yes, wallet. Kofi sent me my first dash okay and uh, that was actually very mega as a then so I kept monitoring it because he told me hey Salam don't ever touch this just keep it for at least a year let's see what happens 
So I kept this dash from 2016 to the first quarter of 2017, that is this year. And it was so amazing. In February, when I was holding my second you know, workshop, I checked and dash was around $40. That's so amazing. So I, I was just surprised. I was like, really? So I made this money, you know, because that was somewhere ending of, you know, uh, 2016 and then just in the first quarter, that was in February 20, uh, uh, 2017. So within a space of four months, I had made more than 100% returns. So oh. I, I told Bufida, look, this thing you showed me is real. I mean, I just want to get involved. And I could see people online, you know, they were willing to buy Dash. I could through my Dash wallet, I could move Dash to Bitcoin and simply sell to friends I know who are already in Dash. right? Yes. So. I, I got, you know, so much into it that I was, uh, Kofi linked me up to one Alexandra uh, Colorado, yeah, JZ. He's, he's so, no friend, he's no friend. Yeah, he got me to Slack to, you know, really interact with the Dutch people. So I, I told them that, look, hey, this thing is too good and this thing will have an impact in my community. I need to get everybody in my community aware of Dutch. And yes, today, one dash is actually trading around 300 US dollars, which is not small money in the Ghana system, about 1,200 cities. But then, I know you can still put a smaller fraction of your income, no matter how much it is, into dash, and just keep monitoring it. Give it a year, like I did. I mean, I did even less than a year. Keep it for a year, and then you see what is going to happen. So I am actually, you know, carrying out this project as a campaign, a promotional message, sending dash across from region to region. And and you can choose to keep your money within yourself in your smartphone and you have your money grow you know appreciate in that so dash is not a scam never at all if that was a scam then i wouldn't be surviving today because i have all my money in dash i, I don't own a bank account anymore the only thing i go the only reason why i go to the bank is that yes i do trading i trade in, in, in cryptocurrencies so i buy and sell people buy dash from me they have to pay me fiat so they send it to my bank account I have to also convert my money to the dollar and get to buy dash from exchanges online. So yes, I need to use a bank account. But it's interestingly, the, the, the banking community, the financial community are all falling in love with cryptocurrencies. Today you can buy Bitcoin or sell your Bitcoin to Trust Guaranteed Bank in Ghana. Today you have the, 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 the CEO of Stambik Bank actually saying that in 15 years there's no going to be banks anymore because everybody's going to get involved in cryptocurrency so that tells you that hey if you are listening to us right now then this is a big opportunity for you to start with so that you will not be left out when there are no more banks. this is a big chance yeah. for you to get started cryptocurrencies have come to stay you either get involved or you are left behind so you mentioned that to keep your money safe you have to get your backup freeze which is very important that even when you change your phone you have your money right in your wallet. And currently in the Upper West region, our first roadshow event actually took place last two weeks and uh, you were there, you sure, spoke. Sure. <clears throat> and you see, the, it, it was so amazing because this was actually supposed to be a meetup of about 50, I mean a maximum of 50 yes, participants. Yes, yes. Interestingly, we got over 200 participants. Yes, and yes. That, was, that showed that a lot of the Ghanaian community oh, yeah. you know, have be monitoring what we do, what we post on social media, the messages we've been sharing, and they are taking interest in that. Yeah. You know, that was so touching. And for this, we, in fact, we are actually running out of budget because uh, we have to, you know, push in uh, about three other events, you know, cost for three other events to finance that meter. But then we love it and we are going to keep you know strategizing all means we can do to make sure that we really carry out these events as we plan so immediately after this tv show i think uh, our month for this the first month for dash roadshow in ghana actually ends 14th because our first event was 14th so we are going to you know have another meet up in the upper west region before 14th and uh, round it up with a radio discussion before we move to I think we, we want to move to the down south because that is where a lot of the Ghanaian population is. People talk about the crowd, people talk about Kumasi, and we have to penetrate all these regions. Yeah. Okay, to my viewers, you felt all that when you have a digital currency, you just have to become your own bank. 
you don't have to worry about cutting huge money in your pocket. All that you have to do is to go to police store and then search for Dash. You see this logo, then you download the application. He spoke on Dash as an investment. That's where you can buy some Dash and hold it for a very long time. Then the price appreciate. This guy is actually controlled by the market force that supply and demand. Supply is fixed, said that when more people come in, you only see the price changing. So, in trying to see it as an investment platform, all that you have to do is to get yourself a Dash wallet, which can be found either in, in Play Store or iOS Store. Then you try to get your phone, go to Play Store, search Dash, you see this logo there, put it into your phone, and then try to contact me, Cryptolic or Dagobu, for your Dash. Well, Dagobu, yes. it's been a long time after the, the, the war very, event. Very, long time. Very long time. And I can see that you are, you, you are looking good. Okay, okay. How was war? Oh, I'm told that uh, moving from Washington, where the road is now, it's very sad, yeah, it's, you it, know. It, it, Robbery yeah. attack yeah. every day. Yeah. So, uh, I hope you are safe. By his grace, we okay. got here okay. safe. That's okay. That's okay. He spoke about uh, Daesh, how it's good to the human society, why we should get involved. Then, someone will be after himself. Someone will decide to, to know how does one own a Daesh? How can someone. It's just abstract, you know, it's not like physical money. It's not fiat, you know, Africa here, yeah, we are so scared. Anything that's to do with the internet, we become frustrated, you know. So, I want to see my dash, is it? Like, how do I own a dash? I want you to tell the air, educate them on how to out and own a dash. Give them more education, how do I own a dash? Because oh, it's, okay. it's, it's digital, it's not physical. Thank you, and then, let me say good evening to your cherished viewers. Um, that's my brother, I think, this year. Dash is a digital currency. Okay. And then, um, how do you get Dash? I think we have a basic requirement. And the basic requirement is to own a smartphone. Even though we may have technologies that will come that may not depend on a smartphone. But as we speak today on the 27th of um, the month, the basic requirement to own Dash is to have um, a smartphone or iOS phone or to have a computer. And then, as my brother rightly mentioned, Dash is a digital currency, just like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and others. And then, as um, my cherished host um, rightly asked, how do you own Dash? We have a basic requirement, as we speak today, if you want to own Dash. The basic requirement is to have a smartphone, have um, a computer, or iOS phone, or other operating system. I believe it's not only this tree that support Dash, but what I know is that currently Windows Phone does not support um, Dash. But I believe you can also download the web wallet to the Windows. So to own Dash, you need to have a phone that is a smartphone or all those that I've mentioned. How do you then get Dash when you have these phones? We have something we call Play Store on the Android um, market. That is the Android Play Store. If you want to own Dash, you need to visit the Play Store. Just just type D A S H. That is Dash, and then you see the symbol. If you have internet connection, and that is also a basic requirement, because without internet connection, you can't actually um, download this application. And this is why you call this internet money. And it's funny. A lot of people in Ghana fear, or West Africa, or Africa in general fear when they say internet money. They think everything about internet is fraud. I want to tell you today, today, that in fact, if we continue to fear internet, it, we are going to be lagging behind and our colleagues in the West will continue leading us. And I believe that has actually come to bridge the gap between the, this our Africa and then Europe and then um, the America and all over the globe. So that is why this particular currency, when you own it in Ghana here, is the same and have the same value like someone who have it in the United States. Unlike our Ghanaian city, when you have it in Ghana, 
it can only function as a legal tender in Ghana. And so when you move to Nigeria and even through a 50 Ghana CDs paper in Nigeria, but even the 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 the, 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 the the literate person in Nigeria will come and see it and pass or he doesn't know what it is. So we need to download this application and then you go through to install it. When you install it, we have a lot of um, procedures that you need to go through to secure your wallet because um, we, we, we know that as we are trying to encode, others are trying to what encode it and they steal our money. So if you download your wallet in the play store you need to actually go through a procedure to secure it in the way that nobody can actually go into your wallet and then send your funds out so i want to demonstrate how this works on the uh, for our, our our viewers so if you go to the play store download the application the application looks like this so you need to go through the installment process and this is done automatically when you download the application so after installing it, when you open this, how the interface looks like. You open it, then you watch at the top left corner, you see three lines. So you tap on the lines, and then you see a drop down options. You see home, you see address book. So what you need to do to secure your wallet is to go to safety. So when you tap on safety, you see safety notes. If you want to read about the safety or everything concerning safety, you tap on safety note, you can get it and then read. But what is very interesting here is you have to get your recovery freeze. This recovery freeze is some mixed up words, it's about um, 13 words or so that you need to actually write down or you need to actually store it offline in the way that nobody can have access to it because this is actually the key to your bank. If anybody have access to this, the person can actually also download the same application and then have access to your phone and then send it away. And you are having an empty wallet. So you need to go to you need to go to this um, recovery phrase and then you view it. And if you are going to view this, they will ask you to choose a password. And this password is also supposed to be private. You are not supposed to share it even to the to your best friend or the person that you trust. Like I trust Kryptoni. You need to share it. You need to have it within yourself. So anytime you want to send fans out, this is the password that you need to send fans out. So when you get your recovery feelings, let me just type in them. I hope my viewers are not seeing my... You <laughs> have a lot of password. So, <laughs> when I decrypt it, you see drop down where that is in blue. So these are what we call recovery feelings. So you write this thing down or you can snapshot it and put it on your memory card or whatever or your pen drive and then just keep it where you know that you will never be looking for it and you will not get it. So when you get this, your, 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 your account is in a way secured. So after this, we have merchants, but it's not only from a merchant that you can buy Dash. You can actually own a Bitcoin, Litecoin or other currencies and then you convert it into a Dash. That is one marvelous thing about these cryptocurrencies. Unlike um, you have your mobile money, which is MCN, you need Vodafone, you have to withdraw it and then go to a Vodafone vendor and then, but no, with this, this on the same wallet, you, we have something we call ShipShip. We have Changely. That you can just use these applications to convert your money from Bitcoin to Dash. I love Dash. And so I'm advocating for Dash. It is, it is very superior as compared to other um, cryptocurrencies. And if you also need this, you can contact any of us. I think uh, we have to be proud. I think people in the North here have to be proud of these three gentlemen. Because as I speak today, we are the backbone of Dash in Ghana. And we are core members of Dash community in West Africa or Africa as a whole. So if you contact any of us, I believe before our program ends, we are going to leave out some contacts so that if you need to buy Dash, you contact us, or you can also buy it from um, other websites. You can buy Bitcoin or others and then just ship, ship it to Dash. But we are still lobbying to get this website to incorporate Dash into their website so that you can actually buy Dash straight from them without buying other currencies to convert it. So that is basically how you can get um, Dash. Okay. If you just join us on NTV, we are talking about cryptocurrency 
which is digital currencies, and then our focus is based on Dash. I call Dash as the mother of all digital currencies, despite Bitcoin is the king. Bitcoin is now an old man, so he is not, uh, not more active, and then his grandchildren are now come to take over from him. So, you know, when you have a, a grandfather and also a, a grandchild, I prefer to go with a grandchild because he's now active. So, a Dash is basically a grand sound to Bitcoin, but that is the is the better version of Bitcoin because it has instant transaction, it's secure and it's private as well. Okay, he mentioned how to own a Dash and the basic requirement is to get your phone, a smartphone, go to police to install your Dash wallet, get your address to a merchant, any of us can, we are all merchants, you can get your addresses, how much you want to buy in Dash, then you get your money within some two seconds. That's one thing about Dash. Dash is basically instant. It takes just two seconds to confirm a single Dash transaction. Unlike Bitcoin, it's something it takes more than two hours. So you can imagine, in Africa here, when I'm buying something from you, and then it takes me two hours to send you your funds. You you will chase me with, with the cat now. <laughs> so I think Dash has come to, 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 to make things easy for us. Oh, so, Mr. Cryptoli, Africa will have a mentality. We have a sickness, a perception that have been bothering us. Many will assume digital currencies as a Ponzi scheme, a scam. I want you to play the airwaves. You've been with the Dutch community for more than two years now. You've gained a lot of experience in the community, and then you've gained so many fortunes. I don't think you've had anything that affects you negatively in the community. The only thing I, I, I recall was that you were having some funds in your coinery wallet that you couldn't store your private keys well. And uh, it still broke into your room, took his mobile phone, his money. To get back his money on that coin on his wallet was a problem because he didn't save his coinery wallet, the public keys. So one thing about this thing is that when we install any of the wallets into your phone, as he mentioned, you have to install or keep your private keys safely so that you wouldn't be like my brother kept it. So I want you to clear the airwaves that these digital currencies are not scam. And more often on Facebook, you may see people, you want to earn one Bitcoin, one this, contact me. Please, I want you to clear the airwaves that the, how they can be safe with the digital currencies. Yes, uh, <clears throat> like you rightfully mentioned, there is a lot of skepticism outside there that cryptocurrencies in general are scam. Even in the West, people think they are scam. But one most interesting thing is that Africans and some people have always thought of everything internet being scam. Even the internet itself, you know. They said by the year 2000, the internet was going to go down. Yes, 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 but I remember. But today, we cannot survive a day without the internet. So, cryptocurrencies are real. You know, anybody who tells you that cryptocurrency as an ecosystem or as a, uh, as a community in general is, is, is a scam, is a big lie. Yes, we may have some coins, like some of the old coins being a scam. Because in everything good, there is something bad, you know? People have gone to create these things with genuine intentions, but then there are some others who go there just to deceive others. And that is why it is very important that before you get involved in any of these experiences, then you have to you owe yourself the responsibility to make, you know, appropriate findings about the coin you are getting involved in. And like you mentioned, I've been in Dutch community for about two years now, and Cryptocurrencies in general have been have been involved in Bitcoin for about three years now. And the only bad experience is the experience we just told our audience that yes, I was keeping some bitcoins but failed to you know keep my, my, my backup phrase. So when the thief broke into my room and made away with my phone and other stuff, I actually lost you know access to it because I couldn't back up my wallet on my next phone to get my funds back. And that is why it is very important that once you download the Dash application, you have to go through the backup process and keep your backup phrase 
very, very secure. At a place you can never forget about it. I remember backing up my wallet, but I couldn't trace where I kept them. You know, and that was one misfortune, and I learned a lot from it. You know, when you learn from your, your mistakes, you are able to do it better. So in actual sense, cryptocurrencies in general are not scam. Okay. Except that once I was in Nigeria advocating Dash in a particular conference, uh, somebody mentioned uh, uh, about TBC, and it was so funny. Yeah, I wondered TBC. why the person got himself into that. You know, sometimes we make those mistakes, you fall in the wrong hands. Like I've been involved with uh, Asia Digi coin before, and Asia Digi coin, with how they were going, I realized that yes, these were people with a different intention than actually, you know, yeah. doing the right thing. So I quickly opt out. But people who stayed in it for long faced the reality. They, they were, I mean, they were duped, you know. So Dash today, as we speak, is the most convenient cryptocurrency. Dash is what gives you the instant sign. You don't need to make a transaction from someone to the other and have to wait some minutes before your transaction goes through. Once you have internet connection, it goes even faster than Bitcoin. Sure. Dash is the only cryptocurrency that gives you the lowest transaction fee. You make a 20 CD equivalent transaction with Dash and you pay less than 20 pesos. Somebody makes a 20 CD transaction with you know MTN mobile money yeah. or other phone cash and the person pays 50 pesos. Amazing. So, so amazing. you know so amazing. Dash is what allows you to make a transaction, a private transaction, you know, say that nobody is able to trace that this address or this account or this wallet made a transaction at this time. Of course, there are some organizations like the non-profit organizations, the charity organizations that want their donors to know the transactions they make, so they want transparency. That still gives you the option you know, to go transparent. So you can choose to make your transactions private, you can choose to have instant transactions, and you can choose to keep your money within yourself, in your smartphone, and you have your money grow, you know, appreciate in value. So that is not a scam, never at all. If that was a scam, then I wouldn't be surviving today because I have all my money in Dash. I, I don't own a bank account anymore. The only thing I go, the only reason why I go to the bank is that yes, I do trade it. I trade in, crypto, in cryptocurrencies, so I buy and sell. People buy Dash from me. They have to pay me fiat, so they send it to my bank account. I have to also convert my money to the dollar and get to buy Dash from exchanges online. So yes, I need to use a bank account, but. It's interestingly, the, the, the banking community, the financial community are all falling in love with cryptocurrencies. Today you can buy Bitcoin or sell your Bitcoin to Trust Guaranteed Bank in Ghana. Today you have the, 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 the CEO of Stambik Bank actually saying that in 15 years there's no going to be banks anymore because everybody's going to get involved in cryptocurrencies. So that tells you that, hey, if you are listening to us right now, then this is a big opportunity for you to start with so that you will not be left out when there are no more banks. This is a big chance yeah. for you to get started. Cryptocurrencies have come to stay. You either get involved or you are left behind. So you mentioned that to keep your money safe, you have to get your backup freeze, which is very important that even when you change your phone, you have your money right in your wallet. Dagobu, you've been investing in digital currencies for a very long time. You've even, you know, uh, I recall the year 2016, around January, you bought Dash when it was around $11 or so. And when it got up to $45, you were chanting on the street. You know, you've made some returns. How have been your experience in the community? You know, have, do you experience any misfortune, any... Yes. You know, I'll tell the audience. In fact, uh, my, my actually, my, my experience was a regret. A regret not because I involved myself in the digital currency ecosystem, but a regret because I sold my digital currency out. <laughs> in fact, when I got uh, to know Dash, I, I, I actually bought about five Dash, when it was about $11. Amazing. And then uh, somewhere March, when Dash was trading uh, at 40 something dollars. Yes, I, I said, wow, I've got money. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I quickly just changed my, my dash into Bitcoin and then I sold it out to Fiat. Just down the line, not up to even four months, dash was trading at uh, around 150. And today, as we speak, it's trading about 300 US dollars. That is about 1,300 
in our Ghanaian city. I mean, if you are pay, prepared enough to leave your money as a then today you have been I would have been worth 300 Charlie, multiplied by five. That would have been 1,000 plus <laughs> when we have done it. In Ghana city, it's uh, over 6,000. Someone speak. This guy acquired me a motorbike to, to, to actually ride in the, in the street of the family. With that t-shirt. So it, it was a regret because I sold it out. But, because, but I believe I believe that uh, okay. it, it's not too late. Yes, because yes. as I speak today, I still have about three dash. That is about um, 900 US dollars. Wow. So if I convert this amount into our Ghanaian city, I'm also going to be somebody in you can still buy my you can still I can still buy my motorbike. <laughs> and this this particular three hundred is just what I'm storing for as, as my investment. I have other one that I do buy from people and also sell to them. So as we speak, if you call me you need dash to buy, I'm going to sell to you. If you call me you have dash for sale, I'm going to buy and then and I actually buy at a higher rate. If you go to the exchanges online, they buy at four point two, I buy at four point three. So you call me, I buy and I sell lower than they do but well, i saw at 4.65 they saw at 4.7 and they saw at 4.8 so my experience was um, a regret but not regret because i was i entered the ecosystem but uh, because i sold out my dash so if you are viewing if you are listening to us i challenge you get involved today it's never too late get involved and i i i trust me if we invest our thousand ghana cities that can end you close to one dash. In the next one year, uh, I trust you, you are going to make about 300% of your investment. Wow, wow, People wow, always wow. view this to be Ponzi scheme, as to, my to, brother to, said. To, to, to our but brother, the Babu, this experience has been that he couldn't buy enough and then he sold out his dash when he experienced a little increment in the price of dash. You know, in increment. Okay. <laughs> now, now because, over 200% <laughs> Okay, from, from 14 to 45. Yeah. That, that's amazing. You know, just around April, right? Yeah. And 45 years old, and today it's around 300 US dollars. And that is getting to 400 by December. So if you are listening, you know, if you have your Dash wallet, don't just delete. Get us your Dash address. We will send you funds so that you keep it till December. We call us to thank us for uh, giving to you an opportunity that has come to stay. And then, so let me let me let me just keep okay, on with okay. you. Uh, I think when I was um, explaining how to get dash, there was something I missed. Okay. You have to actually open your wallet. You see at the bottom, you see request coins, and then you see send coins. If you want to receive dash, you just click on request coins, and then you see. Um, a, a QR code. This is what we call QR code. So if I am with you, I just scan your QR code and then your address comes, then I send you your fund. But if I'm not with you, there is the, the, you, you you have some train dots here that you tap on it, you see copy address. You copy the address and then you send it to me via WhatsApp or text message and then I copy it. This actually doesn't deal with your email, your name or whatever. It's just something that they call address and it is a mix a mixture of words and then some some letters that you can keep in your head and you don't need to actually write this thing to send it to we you are, we are we are we are yes. behind time the experts in cryptocurrency they've been with the community for more than three years now they've had experiences in the digital currencies and then we are we just spoke about dash as the best cryptocurrency in the world you have to get involved get involved or you become an end user because in the next 15 years they will not have fiscal banking so to my challenge viewers out there let me come back to you for your final remarks today oh, yes. <laughs> yes uh i just want to tell our, our, our people watching that uh we are not only presenting you dash digital cash as an opportunity but Dash actually love Ghana, Dash, Dash love Africa, and Dash is getting involved in our lives. Today, we, we, we are just about starting a project we call the Dash Direct Giving. We have selected about 17 households, and uh, we, we are carrying out a survey from the Savulugu Township, about four communities within the Savulugu Township, and uh, a community within the Komunu District. We are going to select about 17 households and begin to give them what we call the Dash Basic Income. We are going to give them close to 500 cities every month. So we'll be giving every household 
500 cities every month for the next two years for free. We just want to see how we can change people's life with Dash Direct Giving. So if you are watching, if you are watching us, just try to get involved with Dash Digital Cash. Dash have a lot of amazing packages and you can actually also be doing this for one day. Thank you very much. Okay, I, think, uh, 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 I, I need not to talk much because we are running out of time. So I have to um, thank our cherished viewers for, for, for making time with us and then also say a very big thanks to the Dash community for supporting this course. And as my brother rightly mentioned, you can contact us and then uh, we can take you through what Dash is. You can also like our page on Facebook that is Center for Liberty and Entrepreneurship. You can like our page and then you can also get our addresses there then you can link up with us and then we'll take you through yeah thank so you gentlemen time. for coming to our studios we appreciate your time and our dash we can just sit here to use one hour to talk about digital currencies i challenge you to do your own research as he represents after the event in 2015 is sat down to google over the internet try to find out more about these things and today I can see he's living comfortable because he's going to help 14 households with 17, 17 households free with a basic income of 400 Ghana cities. Exactly. Free money. So if you are not wealthy, I don't think you can give away this money to people. So, gentlemen, thank you for coming. It was nice. Being Good to see you again. We shall meet okay. next time. Thank you, Thank you our for coming. Our, our, our producer, the Mahamud Media, we, we thank you so much for your time. Okay, see you next time. Bye.